Last year, we saw the birth of consumer wearables, more specifically, smartwatches. Now with Samsung releasing its Gear 2, they've solved a lot of shortcomings from the Gear 1, but sadly, they released this year's model still locked into the Galaxy line of devices. Fortunately, we have figured out a way to get all the gears working on pretty much any Android device. So in this video, we are going to show you guys how you can get it to work with your Android devices. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the file that is linked in the description down below. This is a ported version of the gear manager app of a Samsung device. Once downloaded, you're going to want to transfer it to your smartphone. I put the file into the download folder, but you can put it anywhere you like. Once transferred, go back to your phone, then open up a file explorer. I'm using the ES file explorer in the video, which can be downloaded from the Play Store for free, but you can use any other file explorer that you find within the Play Store. Go on and navigate to the folder you put the app in. In my case, it was the download folder. Now, if you try and install it, it won't let you. You have to go into your settings and enable the installation of applications from unknown sources. Now, the M8 took us there, but if your phone doesn't, just navigate to the security tab in your settings menu and enable it through there. Now, we can install Gear Manager without a problem. Just follow the installation guide and you will be set, but don't get too excited as there is still a couple of things left to be installed. But first, let's pair the gear with our new gear enabled smartphone. One thing to note here is if you were using your gear previously with another device, it will reset itself, deleting all data. Once it's done wiping itself, which should take around 5 minutes, you will be ready to pair your smartphone with the gear. When booted up, we can start following the installation guide on our phone. Just click on the available gear device. And uh, before it can pair, you will need to install a few more things that allow for compatibility. The cool thing is you don't have to look for these, they automatically present themselves and all you have to do is follow the installation guide. And you are done. Once completed, your phone and gear will start to connect to one another. As you can see here, you can indeed control the gear from a non-Samsung device. Here we are changing the wallpapers and clock design on the gear from our M8. Uh, one thing to note is that notifications are not supported yet. We will try and find the fix and when we do, expect to see another video on that. All other functionality is present though, like taking pictures and having them automatically transfer and even taking phone calls on the gear from your phone. The smartwatch offerings from Samsung are probably the best out there right now and it sucked that they were exclusive to Samsung devices only. Well, I'm glad that we have found a fix to this and now you can use your Gear smartwatch with the smartphone of your choice. If you run into any problems or have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below as we always read our comments. Also, don't forget to leave a like if this helped you out. This is Ed from TechSource and I will see you next time.